Today we're going to talk about a synthesis problem with alkene. Alkene. So what if you were given on an exam, you're given some starting material like this, and we were to predict the products and kind of fill out this box here. How would we do it? Now we're taking all our knowledge we've learned so far of the reactions of alkenes and kind of, kind of putting it all together. Right. As far as long as um, other important stuff that we've learned so far in the course. Right. So again, looking at this molecule, if we had hydroboration, now remember hydroboration gives us the anti Markovnikov product um, with syn addition. So the product of that um, reaction, the methyl still stays going away from us, right? The methyl still stays going away from us, but our OH is gonna be on the least substituted part of the group with them both being syn. So, uh, we're gonna get something that looks like this and this is for practice. So you could pause the video and kind of do your thing Right, so you get the OH being on least substituted part of the alkene, right? Now remember because there's syn addition Notice that OH hydrogen is on the same side. So this will be the product Now what if you were about to take this molecule and Add a sulfuric acid. Well again, remember anytime we have an alcohol we add we add, uh, we add acid. That's just your classic dehydration reaction. Your alcohol cannot leave, so it needs protonation first, and form the, forms the water, kicks off the water, and the water comes in and acts as a base um, to give you that neutral alkene. So, interestingly, we kind of the product should be something that looks like this, right? The product should be something that looks like this. The same thing we started with, right? Because again, OH leaves and it just comes in act as a base and form an alkene, right? So interestingly, we get the same starting material we start with. Now, what if we were about to take this um, product and react it with HBr? What would be the um, product? Well, again, remember now, HBr, the addition of HX, hydrogen, uh, the uh, halogen goes on the more substituted part, the alkene. So you get something that looks like this, right? Right, we get something that looks like this, right? So this will be your product, all right? Now, what if we add this? What if we take this and add terbutoxide? Well, again, it is helpful to know that there's three hydrogens here. And remember, Terbutoxide goes for the most accessible hydrogen. So it's not going to go for these hydrogens over here, nor these. It's going to go for the CH3 because they're more accessible. And so you'll get something that looks like this. And this should not be an O. <laughs> that should just be a double bond. So you get something that looks like this. So ignore this spot here. I made a mistake, but that should be just a double bond. All right? So you get this product here. And now what if we take this product and add ozone in the presence of NMO? Well, again, we could cleave the double bond and you could see that we'll get something like this. In this case, we'll get two products, right? We're gonna get that, but we're also gonna get um, We're also gonna get an aldehyde, right? We're gonna get an aldehyde and we're gonna get uh, uh, a ketone, right? Because again, uh, here we have two hydrogens on the end right here, right? We have two hydrogens here and, and this does not change. So this will be a classic synthesis problem um, for the reactions of alkenes.